my father was very abusive to my mom. And um, my mom's had to leave home a lot of times, you know. A lot of times I would feel abandoned. But since being a part of ISP and being in recovery, I'm build, rebuilding a lot of those relationships. The Ignatian Spirituality Project invites people who are struggling with homelessness and substance use addiction into a place where they can share their um, spiritual journey with others. Ignatian Spirituality Project is a network across the U.S., Canada, and Ireland that offers spiritual care and companionship programs. For more than 20 years, ISP has operated locally in cities with teams of volunteers to provide spiritual retreat and reflection programs for men and women at shelters and recovery centers. During the pandemic, ISP has had to creatively adapt these programs for Zoom and phone. We have um, a number of programs that, uh, whether it's short-term programs or one-on-one -on -one companionship, that really walk with people. Evelyn participated in ISP retreats as part of her recovery from addiction. Soon, she began leading them. In 2018, she was selected for ISP's National Leadership Program. ISP paired Evelyn with a fellow retreat leader from Washington, D.C., Francis Coomer, who would support her in developing spiritual leadership skills over the two-year program. But they quickly realized that it wasn't a one-way relationship. At first, it was her helping me to navigate through this process and to uh, learn more about Ignatian spirituality. I recognized that she wasn't just to help me. She was, we were, we, we were put together to support each other. I can actually say she is my friend. Early on, I realized that um, somehow then Evelyn looked at me like, you know, um, differently than I felt this should go for me. And so somehow we turned to companions. It's not her doing for me or me doing for her. It's us walking together. The companion part has been where we've seen the most grace. It's where we've seen just this beautiful transformation in terms of how people relate to our program, how they're invested in our program. Companionship is a really important part, obviously, of the Christian journey and obviously Ignatius's own journey towards, um, you know, from being a soldier to a holy man um, and, a, and a spiritual leader. And I see companionship as really just part and parcel of understanding who we are and who we are in front of God. A lot of us um, have been abused in some form or abandoned and are feeling uh, isolated. And so we have a hot exterior. It's about, you know, um, handling uh, a person in such a way where they can, you know, begin the process of opening up. Isaac attended ISP retreats while in recovery from alcoholism and homelessness. After a while, he became a retreat leader. That's how he met Michael. So in meeting Michael, I knew that he had uh, some rough edges, you know, but I'm, you know, I can relate to that because I have them too. He just, uh, you know, he just gravitated towards me. It's like something that he needed, that he's seen in me. And something that I needed, I've seen in him. And it's sort of like it just fit. I look up to Isaac. Isaac got a lot of time clean and sober. Um, he's worked in a lot of great places, you know, and, and, and He's a prayer. He works in these halfway houses. He works with the community that, that we are, are targeting, you know what I mean? Like he works hands on with these people. So I really look up to him. His accompaniment means everything to me. I believe that a lot of the women that we meet, that we encounter, that we accompany, and haven't we all? I mean, many of us felt hopelessness. So in providing a time to be together and care about one another, in a, a trusting place that awakens that hope. For me, anyways, it was a sense of belonging because sometimes you're going through a situation in life and you think that you might be the only person that's going through that situation until you come to an ISP meeting and you sit in that circle. Everybody feels alone. Everybody feels like they're going through this by themselves. All they gotta do is hop on a Zoom meeting and you'll see that there's other people going through this.